the Stone Age, a vast epic stretching back millions of years, marking the dawn of humanity. It is a time often depicted as brutal and unforgiving, a world of darkness inhabited by primitive ancestors. But how much of what we believe about the Stone Age is actually true? The reality, as we shall see, is far more nuanced than popular culture would have us believe. Join me as we journey back in time to uncover the truth about our Stone Age ancestors, dispelling the myths and shedding light on their remarkable ingenuity and resilience. Over the course of this series, we will be dismantling 12 common misconceptions about the Stone Age, revealing the fascinating reality behind these enduring myths. One of the most pervasive images associated with the Stone Age is that of our ancestors huddled within the cold, damp confines of caves. While it is true that caves offered a natural shelter from the elements, and archaeological evidence points to their occasional use, to classify all Stone Age people as cave dwellers is a gross oversimplification. The reality is that Stone Age people, much like humans today, adapted their dwellings to suit their environment and needs. In regions where caves were scarce, they constructed shelters from wood, animal bones, and hides, demonstrating remarkable resourcefulness. These structures, while seemingly simple, represent an important milestone in human evolution, reflecting our ancestors' growing ability to manipulate their environment to their advantage. Evidence suggests that Stone Age people were adept at choosing locations for their settlements, often favoring sites near water sources, and with access to resources like food and materials for toolmaking. This demonstrates a remarkable understanding of their surroundings and a strategic approach to survival in a challenging world. The image of the cave-dwelling Stone Age human, while enduring, only tells a small part of the story. The Stone Age is often perceived as a period of intellectual darkness, a time before the advent of complex thought and innovation. This depiction, however, couldn't be further from the truth. While our ancestors may not have possessed written language or the technological advancements of later periods, to underestimate their intelligence is a grave mistake. The tools crafted by Stone Age humans, often beautifully symmetrical and meticulously napped, stand as a testament to their cognitive abilities. The creation of even the simplest hand axe required advanced planning, spatial awareness, and an understanding of the properties of different materials. Beyond toolmaking, evidence suggests that Stone Age people possessed a sophisticated understanding of their natural world. From tracking animal migration patterns for hunting to identifying and using medicinal plants, their knowledge of their environment was both vast and complex. This deep connection to the natural world, honed over millennia, allowed them not just to survive, but to thrive in some of the harshest conditions our planet had to offer. The ingenuity of early humans extended far beyond just chipping away at stones, though this was undoubtedly a foundational skill. They were adept at utilizing a diverse range of materials found in their environment. Beyond the ubiquitous stone, they crafted tools from bone, antler, wood, and plant fibers, each material chosen for its unique properties. Animal bones, particularly the denser, more durable ones, were fashioned into needles for stitching hides, fish hooks for securing meals from the waters, and even rudimentary flutes, perhaps for ceremonial purposes or simply for the pleasure of making music. The flexibility and resilience of wood made it ideal for constructing shelters, crafting handles for tools, and even creating weapons like spears, essential for hunting large game. These early humans were often depicted as living a precarious, hand-to-mouth existence. While life was undoubtedly challenging, their true mastery lay in their ability to adapt and innovate using the resources available to them. Take, for instance, the development of adhesives. By combining tree sap with crushed ochre or beeswax, they created surprisingly strong glues for hafting stone blades onto wooden handles, increasing their tools' effectiveness. This resourcefulness wasn't confined to toolmaking. They tanned animal hides using naturally occurring tannins from plants, creating clothing and shelters that provided protection from the elements. The image of the Stone Age as solely defined by rudimentary stone tools is far too simplistic. They were pioneers of a diverse material palette, demonstrating a remarkable understanding of their environment and its resources.
It's a common misconception that our Stone Age ancestors lived brutally short lives, succumbing to the harsh realities of their time before reaching what we would consider a ripe old age. While it's true that life expectancy was lower than it is today, attributing this solely to a primitive lifestyle paints an incomplete picture. Infant and child mortality rates were undoubtedly higher due to factors like disease and malnutrition. However, if an individual survived those vulnerable early years, they could reasonably expect to live into their 40s, 50s, or even 60s. Skeletal remains from the period provide evidence of individuals reaching these more advanced ages. These elders would have played a crucial role within their social structures, their experience and accumulated knowledge proving invaluable to the survival of the group. Examining skeletal remains allows us to piece together a more accurate understanding of Stone Age lifespans. Signs of osteoarthritis, a degenerative joint disease, are evident in some remains, indicating that these individuals lived for a significant period after developing the condition. Furthermore, the presence of healed fractures and evidence of successful treatment for injuries suggest a level of care and medical knowledge that may surprise those who hold a simplistic view of this era. It's important to remember that life expectancy is a complex metric, influenced by a multitude of factors. While the Stone Age presented its own set of challenges, our ancestors were far from the short-lived, fragile beings they are often portrayed to be. Their resilience and ability to adapt to their environment allowed them to not only survive, but to thrive, laying the groundwork for the development of human civilization. The image of the Stone Age is often one of constant conflict, a brutal, unforgiving world where survival hinged on a capacity for violence. While competition for resources and territorial disputes undoubtedly occurred, portraying this era as solely defined by warfare is a gross oversimplification. Archaeological evidence suggests that periods of peaceful coexistence and cooperation were just as much a part of the Stone Age experience as conflict. Trade networks, evidenced by the discovery of materials far from their origin, point towards interaction and exchange between different groups. The development of increasingly sophisticated tools and weapons, often cited as evidence of a preoccupation with warfare, can also be interpreted as a means of more efficiently acquiring resources, reducing the need for conflict. Furthermore, the very act of passing down knowledge and skills across generations evident in the development of increasingly refined tool-making techniques, suggests a level of social cohesion that would be impossible in a society dominated by constant warfare. The harsh realities of the Stone Age, with its environmental challenges and unpredictable dangers, likely necessitated cooperation as a survival strategy. Sharing resources, knowledge, and even childcare duties would have increased the chances of survival for the group as a whole. The discovery of burial sites where individuals were laid to rest with care, sometimes accompanied by grave goods, hints at a sense of community, and perhaps even spiritual beliefs that transcended the individual. While conflict undoubtedly played a role in the Stone Age, it's crucial to recognize that it was not the defining characteristic of this period. These early humans were just as capable of peaceful coexistence, cooperation, and even compassion as they were of aggression. They were, after all, our ancestors, and within them lay the seeds of the same complex social behaviors and capacity for both peace and conflict that we see in ourselves today. The term Stone Age itself might conjure images of brutish cave dwellers lacking any sophistication. This, however, is a gross misrepresentation of our ancestors. The Stone Age, spanning a vast period from roughly 2.6 million years ago to around 3,300 BC, witnessed remarkable human development. During this era, early humans laid the groundwork for civilization as we know it. They developed complex tools, mastered fire, and crafted intricate social structures. These achievements, far from being primitive, demonstrate a remarkable capacity for innovation and adaptation. The Stone Age was a time of immense change and development, a testament to the ingenuity of early humans. One of the most enduring misconceptions about the Stone Age is the lack of art. This couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, the Stone Age marks the dawn of human artistic expression, a period where our ancestors began to leave their mark on the world in profound ways. 
From the intricate cave paintings found in Europe, such as those at Lascaux and Chauvet, to the rock art of Africa and Australia, the evidence is undeniable. These ancient masterpieces, created with pigments made from natural materials, depict a variety of subjects, from animals and hunting scenes to abstract patterns and symbols. These paintings weren't merely decorative, they likely held deep cultural and spiritual significance, perhaps serving as a way to communicate with spirits, celebrate successful hunts, or transmit knowledge across generations. The sheer skill and artistry involved in creating these works, some dating back over 40,000 years, is breathtaking. Beyond cave paintings, Stone Age people also expressed themselves through music, dance, and adornment. Archaeological evidence points to the use of bone flutes and other musical instruments, while personal ornaments like necklaces, bracelets, and pendants, often crafted from shells, teeth, and bone, highlight a sense of aesthetics and personal expression. The artistic legacy of the Stone Age stands as a testament to the creative spirit that has always been an integral part of the human experience. It challenges the notion of Stone Age people as solely focused on survival, revealing a capacity for imagination, storytelling, and a deep connection to the world around them. The image of Stone Age people as perpetual wanderers, constantly on the move in search of food, is a common oversimplification. While nomadic lifestyles did exist, particularly in the earlier Paleolithic period, the reality is far more nuanced. As human societies evolved, so too did their relationship with the land. The development of agriculture around 10,000 years ago marked a significant turning point. This period, known as the Neolithic Revolution, saw a shift towards more settled lifestyles. With the ability to cultivate crops and domesticate animals, communities could establish permanent settlements and support larger populations. These early farmers carefully selected and cultivated plants, transforming the landscape and their relationship with nature. This transition to agriculture wasn't immediate or universal. Some groups continued to practice hunting and gathering, while others adopted a semi-nomadic lifestyle, moving seasonally to exploit different resources. The development of pottery further facilitated settled life, providing a means for storing surplus food and water. This technological advancement, along with the construction of more substantial dwellings, reflects a growing investment in permanent settlements. The Stone Age, therefore, encompassed a spectrum of lifestyles, from nomadic hunter-gatherers to settled agricultural communities. This diversity highlights the adaptability and resourcefulness of our ancestors as they navigated the challenges of their environments and developed new ways of life. The idea that our Stone Age ancestors communicated solely through grunts and gestures is a misconception. Evidence suggests a far richer tapestry of communication. Consider the intricate tools they crafted and the elaborate hunting strategies they employed. These feats required planning and coordination, pointing towards a sophisticated system of communication. Archaeological discoveries hint at early forms of symbolic representation, suggesting abstract thought. Spoken language, even in its nascent form, likely played a role in their daily lives. Language may have echoed through ancient campsites, weaving stories and sharing knowledge. Gestures, facial expressions, and body language conveyed a wealth of information. Subtle cues could convey vital information, ensuring a successful hunt. Music and rhythm likely played a crucial role in their social fabric. Their expressions, though different from ours, were intricate, weaving a rich tapestry of human connection. The vastness of the night sky, ablaze with stars, has captivated humankind since time immemorial, igniting a sense of wonder and prompting questions about our place in the cosmos. To believe that our Stone Age ancestors were indifferent to these celestial wonders is to underestimate the depths of the human spirit. While organized religion, as we understand it today, may not have existed, evidence suggests that spiritual beliefs and rituals were deeply intertwined with their lives. The cyclical nature of life and death, the power of natural forces, the mysteries of the afterlife, these fundamental questions resonated deeply with our ancestors. The act of burying their dead, often with tools or ornaments, hints at a belief in a realm beyond our own. Cave paintings, adorned with enigmatic symbols and depictions of otherworldly beings, offer glimpses into their spiritual world. For Stone Age communities, the natural world was not merely a source of sustenance, but a realm imbued with spiritual significance. Animals, possessing strength and instincts beyond human capacity, were often revered, 
their images adorning cave walls and their spirits invoked in hunting rituals. The sun and the moon likely held profound symbolic meaning, marking the passage of time and inspiring awe. Natural formations may have been regarded as sacred spaces, places where the veil between the physical and spiritual world seemed thin. While the specifics of their beliefs may remain elusive, the evidence suggests that Stone Age people were not devoid of spiritual inclinations. It's easy to imagine our Stone Age ancestors as isolated, confined to their immediate surroundings, a world where interactions were limited and resources were fiercely guarded. But this picture, much like the crude tools they are often depicted with, is far too simplistic. Evidence suggests that even in the Paleolithic, the Old Stone Age, humans were not entirely cut off. The discovery of materials like obsidian and flint far from their source points to a network, perhaps rudimentary, of exchange. These early humans understood the value of resources beyond their own territories. This trade, though likely small-scale compared to later eras, was crucial. It fostered connections between groups, allowing the flow of not just goods, but potentially knowledge and ideas as well. The seeds of globalization, one might say, were already being sown. These early trade networks, though challenging to fully reconstruct, likely played a vital role in human development. The acquisition of new and better materials, for instance, could have spurred technological innovation. A sharper axe head obtained through trade might mean the difference between a successful hunt and an empty stomach. Moreover, trade likely fostered a sense of community and interdependence between groups. It provided opportunities for interaction, perhaps leading to the exchange of knowledge about toolmaking, hunting strategies, or even stories and rituals. This interconnectedness challenges the image of the Stone Age as a time of stark isolation. Instead, it paints a picture of early humans adapting, innovating, and connecting with the world around them, much as we do today. The misconception that Stone Age societies were simple, lacking any form of social structure, is easily dispelled when we examine the archaeological record, Burials, for example, provide intriguing insights. Some individuals, even from the early Stone Age, are interred with more elaborate grave goods, suggesting a differentiation in social standing. Take the grave of the Red Lady of Pavilion Cave in Wales. Dated to the Upper Paleolithic, this burial is adorned with red ochre and jewelry, hinting at a special status, perhaps a chieftain or shaman. Such burials stand in stark contrast to others of the same period, indicating a hierarchy was already emerging. Further evidence comes from the organization of living spaces within Stone Age settlements. Larger, more centrally located dwellings likely housed individuals with greater authority or influence, further reinforcing the idea of social stratification. As humans progressed through the Stone Age, social structures undoubtedly became more complex. The need to coordinate hunting efforts, distribute resources, and maintain order within larger groups would have necessitated a system of leadership and social norms. While the specifics of these social structures remain a subject of debate among archaeologists, it's clear that leadership roles existed, whether inherited or earned through skill and prowess. These leaders would have played a crucial role in guiding their groups through challenges and ensuring their survival. The development of art and symbolism in the later Stone Age also hints at a rich social fabric. Cave paintings, for instance, may have served ritualistic purposes, strengthening group identity and social cohesion. These glimpses into the Stone Age world reveal societies far more intricate than often perceived. From the sophistication of their tools to the complexity of their social structures, the humans of the Stone Age were far from the simplistic beings often portrayed. They adapted to their environments, formed communities, and left behind a legacy that resonates even today. We've journeyed through 12 common misconceptions, shedding light on the true nature of these remarkable people. Their story is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience, reminding us that progress is a long and winding path, often paved with challenges and triumphs. If you found this exploration of the Stone Age illuminating, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more captivating journeys into our collective past. And let us know in the comments below what surprised you most about the Stone Age. The music you hear, while perhaps somber, 
is meant to evoke a sense of awe and wonder at the ingenuity and resilience of our ancestors. Until next time, keep exploring. Keep